So this is from Matt Orfala. Matt Orfala shared this on Twitter yesterday. I meant to cover this yesterday, but somehow I uh, I got sidetracked. I mean, yesterday was crazy because we had all those issues. But anyway, so check this out. This is from Matt Orfala. Facebook censoring pro Sanders posts. All right, so here we go. Here's the screenshot. This is a post. Bernie Sanders is the safer bet. Tell your friends and family. The Democratic Party race with more than half the delegates still in play is now between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. Uh, so this was a post that this person made about Bernie Sanders. It's just a pro Bernie Sanders post. And here's how Facebook flagged it. Your post goes against our community standards on spam. No one can see, else can see your post. We have standards to prevent things like false advertising, fraud, and security breaches. All they did was post a, a pro Bernie Sanders article. They posted an article on Facebook. By the way, you know how most people use Facebook now? They use it as a newsreader. That's, that's how they use Facebook. They use it as a newsreader. And all this person did was share an article. That's all this person did. Uh, now, here is something that... Now, Matt tweets this later. Here's an article where, they, where they're trying to justify this. So, see, what's happening is... Um, Facebook and all these companies, because of the pandemic, they're just using bots to flag content. So here's what happened. Facebook was also flagging stuff. Uh, anything about the coronavirus, they were apparently flagging. Now, what that has to do with Bernie Sanders, I don't know. But here's something else they're talking about. Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook spam bug. Hopefully we won't have that issue again anytime soon. If you were trying to post a news story on Facebook on Tuesday, chances were the platform might have stopped you. The social network had a bug in an anti-spam system that was incorrectly flagging users' posts as spam. Facebook's vice president of integrity, Guy Rosen, explained the issue over tweet Tuesday night. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg uh, confirmed it on Wednesday in a call with media. Isn't that interesting that he tweeted it? <laughs> he didn't post it on Facebook. He tweeted it. He's like, I want more people to see this. <laughs> I better tweet this news about Facebook. I would post it on Facebook, but I don't I don't even know. It might get flagged if I post it on Facebook. <laughs> People might not see it. I better tweet it. All right, so Zuckerberg said that the incident on Tuesday was widespread and was not related to coronavirus links as previously reported uh, or its human moderators working from home. The issue has been fixed, Zuckerberg said, and Facebook is doing post-mortem. Hopefully we won't have that issue again anytime soon. Continuing on content moderation, the CEO added, I do think there will be some false positives and we'll take down some content that was not supposed to be taken down. <laughs> we are, we try very hard not to do that, of course, but, but, but I don't expect, but I don't think you should expect to see anything at the level of that bug yesterday. Yeah, we won't do that. We might, <laughs> if you endure, <laughs> if you post a pro Bernie Sanders article, we might do that. We might, <laughs> we might screw you over there. But uh, otherwise, you know, we, we got you covered. This is why you don't let Silicon Valley billionaires decide what is and isn't free speech. They're not qualified to do that. Letting them decide what is and isn't free speech. That's like just letting, that's like being like, hey, this person's going to teach a martial arts class. Why? Well, because they were a designer on Mortal Kombat. They were a program programmer for the Mortal Kombat video game. So we're going to let them teach martial arts now. It makes the same amount of sense. Hey, they're a programmer for a platform where people post speech and ideas. We're going to let them decide what is and isn't free speech. This is why these things need to be deemed public utilities. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your